passion and anger on the streets of Cairo, this time from the people who want the president to stay. An astonishing day in Cairo began early, with supporters of Hosni Mubarak taking to the streets. They scrubbed at graffiti against him. Angry at the media coverage of this story, they tried to stop us filming. They want the president to remain in power and they fear the chaos that change could bring. Essentially what the argument that's going on in the crowd now is that this man has said that if the president goes, then Egypt will turn into another Iraq. He's talking about suicide vests, people having their head cutting off. He basically fears that there will be anarchy in the country if the president goes now. This is a volatile crowd and some aren't looking for a debate. The first protester they found was attacked. An omen of the violence to come. Within hours, the two sides came together on the edge of Tahrir Square. Both sides face to face for the first time. Clash now between pro and anti Mubarak supporters. They're physically pushing against each other. This is a highly volatile situation, and nobody knows where this is now going to end. Yesterday was peaceful, today seems to be turning violent. It took just a few minutes for Mubarak supporters to break through. The air thick with malice. and one protester was simply unable to get out in time, beaten while he was hiding in the back of an army lawyer. The opposition accused these people of being thugs in the pocket of the president. What they did prove is that they're a force to be reckoned with. And terrified families huddled together. This is what's become of Egypt's revolution. Pitched battles in the heart of Cairo. Rocks and sticks now the language of protest. Hundreds have been injured. Here, an anti-government protester is taken away for treatment as passion gives way to bloodshed. The army asked people to go home, but they're now caught in the middle of a battle they seem unable to stop. Egypt's vital tourism industry has been dealt a blow. And today, even the men who make money at the pyramid selling rides came out to support the president. It's hard to know where this violence ends. Both sides are now fighting for their positions, and there's no sign either will back down soon. This battle seems far from over, as the struggle for control of the centre of this city and the future of the country goes on.